Hello, this is Mercenary. Uh, this is just another tutorial for working with the map editor in Savage 2. This is actually going to cover the most basic thing that you need to do, the first thing you need to do, which is to extract the files that you need to extract in order for the editor to work. The first thing that we're going to do, actually, that I've already done here, is just copy the entire Savage 2 directory over um, as a copy that I can use with the editor. This way, anything you do here is not going to affect your ability to, to play the game as well as to update the game. Uh, and this step is not even going to be required once the editor is updated uh, to load the resources from the archives. So we've got our copy of Savage 2. Everything's been copied over. We need to go into the game directory and we need to locate two of the S2Z archive files. The first file is the resources zero file. The second is textures high. Uh, what we're going to do in order to extract these, these are simple zip files, is actually rename them just to zips. Now you can actually just set up the file association with WinRare or WinZip or whatever program that you like, but I'm taking the lazy route, so I'm just going to rename them. Uh, once they're renamed, just right-click on them. Uh, in WinRare, it's as simple as choosing Extract Here, and WinRare is going to go to work. Uh, it's extracting everything uh, to the proper directory, which is just the game directory. It's setting up all the subdirectories. Uh, these resources are now going to be available uh, to allow us to load them in the map editor. Basically, if we didn't do this, the map editor uh, the menus would not be populated. We would have no entities that we could choose, we would have no textures we can choose. So this is going to take just a couple of minutes at most. I'm actually going to um, this part of the video out so that uh, we can speed this along. Okay, we're uh, basically getting very close to finished here. All we need to do is just make sure that we had renamed those zips back to S2Zs. This is important because there's some textures and some other files that can only be loaded from within the S2Zs. Um, this is, you know, you'll know you see a big example of this in the actual game. Um, if you don't rename these back to S2Z, uh, you'll see a lot of missing textures and some resources that will be available as well. Uh, the last thing we need to do is uh, copy over some converted textures so we can paint our terrain and our foliage. So let's navigate to the game slash world slash terrain slash textures directory and we'll need to copy over some textures that I've already converted for you. This texture pack actually can be downloaded from the link that you'll see on the screen and if for whatever reason these files no longer exist on my website you can always just private message me on the forums and I'll get those right to you. Uh, once again however this step will no longer be needed. None of this work will be needed um, when they uh, finish updating the editor. So I already have the textures uh, extracted so I can copy those over pretty quickly. Let's go straight over to that um, directory. Once again that's uh, game slash world slash textures. Uh, copy over these converted textures which are in Targa or TGA format and this will allow you to paint your terrain. We just need to repeat this step now to get the foliage to work. So let's go back to that, uh, that archive I created and we'll go and get those foliage textures. Now the foliage textures actually will end up being placed in uh, game slash world slash foliage slash textures. So once you've got those copied over as they, as they are now uh, you'll be able to work with a map editor. Everything will be populated, there will be no missing textures, and you can create a map uh, without any problems. There is one last step we'll need to take. We just need to edit the shortcut to the map editor uh, to point over to the new directory. Um, all we need to do here is just make sure that the target goes straight to the Savage 2 executable in the new directory we just created followed by a space, the word push mod, all one word, space, and then editor. 
the start in field just needs to point over to that new Savage 2 directory. Once that's taken care of, uh, we have everything we need to work with the editor. Once again, this is Mercenary. Thanks for listening, and have fun editing.